Literally telling myself inspirational quotes as I'm in the wax room. Like, that's who I am, that is me, this is real. Hey guys, it's Monday night. I'm headed on vacation. Vacation is a loose word. Going to like a family reunion on Wednesday. And we're going to my grandparents' lake house. We go every summer. Last summer was the first summer that I literally have not gone since I was in my mom's stomach. Like I've gone every year, even if I was not even born yet. Um, and that place is so, so, so special to me. It's absolutely insane how special it is to me. Like when I go there, I am at full peace, full Zen. I just have so many amazing memories there and I'm so grateful for that place. It's in Southern Illinois, literally the smallest town ever. There's like one intersection and my grandparents live on the lake and it's just, we have so many traditions. This year, it's not like our whole family. It's just kind of us and my grandparents and then my aunt and my new little cousin, my only first cousin ever. That's kind of different, but this time I'm actually bringing Ryan. And I've always said, like since I was young, I wanna bring, you know, someone special to me here one day, like a boyfriend. And so it's really, really exciting for me to be bringing him and show him one of my favorite places on this planet. Um, I'm not gonna be vlogging it because it's just super like we're just gonna be there with my grandparents and we literally just put on our bathing suits every day and go out on the lake and just spend time with family. But I thought it would be fun to do a little prep with me for vacation. I love watching these vlogs. I'm literally watching Julia and Hunter's right now and it's just so satisfying. So, and I was gonna start this vlog tomorrow, make it a day in my life, which we are gonna continue on into tomorrow. But I'm doing a lot right now, so I thought I'd show. <laughs> I decided to pack tonight, which is very impressive for me because normally I'm like the night before kind of person, but I think I just haven't done many vacations recently. So this is really exciting to like plan everything. I a thousand percent overpacked. We're going Wednesday to Saturday, basically two full days there. Um, but you had have options and this was just really fun for me. And we literally barely even leave their house, but I like love to dress up for dinner there. I don't know, I'm weird, okay? So I thought I'd do a little overview of what I packed because I love watching this stuff, so hopefully you guys do too. I don't really know, and I'm about to put this in my suitcase, so when I start vlogging tomorrow, like this stuff isn't gonna be out here. It's gonna be in a suitcase. Oh, hello. Hey girl. Oh my gosh, I went, the other thing I did, I just went through, mom, you'd be so proud. I went through my bathing suits and literally these are, uh, living in Florida, you just acquire a lot of swimsuits. Like I hate, like look at all that I'm giving away. Or I guess some can be given away, some I have to throw away, I'm not really sure. But I'm packing for Illinois right now. I'm about to show them. Oh I know, I'm definitely overpacking, but it's okay. So anyways, my mom was just saying she's going to bed. This is my little comfy clothes section, actually this too. So a pair of sweatpants for just lounging around, might wear it to the airport, not sure. I have a comfy tank top, my parallel apparel square tank top. I'm obsessed with it, it's so comfortable. I have a pair of gray sweat shorts and then also a parallel apparel um, sweatshirt. I just thought this is like a cute little situation I could wear because um, it does get kind of chilly at night sometimes there and just like hanging around um, in their living room and stuff. Or again, something for the airport is amidst here. Sticky boobs, everyone asks me all the time how I wear in all these different types of tops. I literally just wear sticky boobs, sorry. This is just the adhesive, it's not like something gross. It just looks, it actually looks really gross. Um, I will link these down below for you guys. I absolutely love these. They are my life and they're all I wear when I wear like interesting tops or I just don't wear a bra, but that's not the case for everybody. I have this set from the Indigo Child. I love it, it's just this little green skirt. I've never worn it actually and a long sleeve shirt. It's like so cute, just some little wedges. Um, I will probably wear this to dinner one night and it's just so, I don't know, I thought it was good for just like being with the fam, you know? And then here I have a green maxi skirt with two different top options. They're both basics that can kind of be interchangeable. I have this pink dress, just, I don't know. 
I just wanted to bring it. Bringing a pair of jeans shorts if I just want to throw them on with my bathing suit. And then this is so unnecessary, this situation, but sometimes I don't know my mood, like what my mood's gonna be while I'm there. Like I might pack this outfit, but maybe I'm more of a jean and tank vibe that day. Like how could you know? How would they know? So that's why I bring options for myself because then it's more fun. Bringing my Shop Alley Grace Levi jeans and then, um, okay, three different tank tops. Okay, okay, it's fine. Two things are here, swimsuit cover-ups. This is just like a long white shirt from Free People and this is, um, you guys saw this in my vlog before, but it's just like a collared shirt from Princess Polly. Bringing two workout sets. This one's from Year of Ours. I haven't worn it yet. It's bright orange and then this one's like a green color. Um, cause Ryan's big into working out and I feel like he might want to work out and then I'll be like, oh, maybe me too. I don't really know what we'd do. It's not like we'd go to a gym there. There's like nothing, but just like, I don't know. I just thought I'd bring them. Bathing suits. I bring a lot of bathing suits because some days I'll literally wear two bathing suits. There's a boat there, so we'll go like wake surfing, and, or not wake surfing, um, so we'll go like skiing and maybe tubing and stuff, and then like we might come back and then we'll go in the lake later that day. So I just bring a lot because nothing's worse than putting on a wet swimsuit, bringing a hat, love this guy. I'm deciding which one to bring. I'm not gonna bring both. They're little sarongs. I got on Amazon, I'll link them below. I, they sell them in a ton of sets. So I got a set of two white and black. They're just like the little skirts you wrap around with your bathing suit. Probably do white, right? Yeah, I feel as though I'm going to do white. So yeah, that's the overview of what I'm packing. Definitely kind of while we were filming this, I'm thinking this is excessive, but also you never know. And I want to be prepared. Finley, show everyone your new blowout. Finley went to the dry bar today. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he got groomed today. Unpopular opinion. I want Finley to hear me, but I don't love the way dogs look after they've just been blow dried. Like, I like how he looks in like three days. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, but like a couple days after getting groomed, dogs just look like, ah. But his hair does look beautiful. Finley bear. Here's my suitcase. You can tell it's been places by the dirtiness of it. It is amazing. It's like small enough where it's like, okay, she's not super extra for bringing such a big bag, but it's so deep that you can fit so much. Like you guys would be amazed at how much it can fit. Okay, so that took me like two seconds to put everything in. I definitely still have a lot of room and I'm like, oh, I could go get my smaller suitcase. But again, I'm literally gonna check it either way because some of the liquids I'm bringing are too big for um, carry-on. So we gotta put my toiletry bags and my shoes. You have to think about all that. I also just remembered I just finished my book I was just reading called Wish You Were Here by Renee Carlino. So good, I actually sobbed. My mom walked in the living room and was like, are you okay? Um, and I wanna download a new book for the plane and just for being by the lake and stuff. I wanna read Malibu Rising. Everyone's talking about it. It sounds right up my alley, so I'm gonna download that and charge this Morning, thing. Precious, how are you? Good morning, you guys. It's about 8.30, I just woke up naturally. I love naturally waking up this early. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Just making the bed so I don't get back in it. Is it time for coffee? Morning vibes. I started Malibu Rising last night. It's really good. It's about 10.30, Tuesday morning. We're gonna head downstairs, do a workout. A lot of times I'll just hop on the Peloton and I'll either do a class or I'll just kind of like do my own thing. Either way, I kind of just do my own thing. Um, Cause I like to do more movement rather than, they do a lot of resistance and I like to do kind of choreo or more sprint. I'll either do that or I will do some sort of like just floor workout. So today I'm actually gonna try one of Melissa Wood Health's workouts on YouTube. We'll see how it goes. And I'm gonna do a little booty one today. So, and it looks like a lot of it, I'm not gonna bring my sneakers down, so we'll see how that goes. It looks like a lot of it, it's like you don't need to have like sneakers on for. This set is old. It's from Outdoor Voices though. I hope they still have it. I do love it. They might still have it, just not this color, but I'm really into biker short sets in the summer because leggings are so hot. Alrighty, so here's the setup. Oh my gosh, I need to turn on the fan. It's so hot in here. Woo! This is the workout I'm gonna try. It's literally from 2019. It's an eight minute express booty series by Melissa Wood Health. And then I might just do some arms on my own or something else. But I wanna start with this, see how it goes, see if I like her workouts, cause I've heard a lot of people talk about them. Today we're doing an express booty series. Let's go. Okay, my 
my butt is burning, so I'd say it worked. That went by so fast. I am getting bit by mosquitoes like no other right now because I have the garage door open. I'm gonna see if she has another workout too that I could do or something like a core workout or I'll just do arms. I don't really know. That just went by so fast. Okay, so this is bad, but I hate core workouts. Like I hate them and I love arm workouts and I like when my arms look more toned. So we're gonna grab the weights from the Peloton. I use two pounders. I truly think this works if I just do one song and do light weights. Like I just find that my arms get more and more toned. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And when I was a spin instructor, that's literally the only arm workout I did and I think I looked pretty good. So <laughs> we're gonna do that, strengthen our arms. We're strong gals here. I'm just gonna play one song and get after it. I like to use something with a bit of a beat so I can pulse to it. Hey. That was done. I feel good. Look at all these bug bites, you guys. Oh my gosh. Here's my little Aaron's outfit of the day. These shorts are a little bigger on my waist, but they're comfortable. Shirt is from Aritzia. It's just a little tank, necklace, and jewelers. Sweatshorts are from Revolve from the brand Rails. I'll link them below. Amazon um, Yeezy Slide dupes. Bag is from Bob Orr, Bob Orr A. I love it. Um, hair is just in a claw clip. I'm not gonna wash it until tonight. Gucci sunglasses. Dad, you ready for some shots of ginger? My dad and I are gonna go get a green juice and some ginger shots, and we're gonna bring Finster. Dad, do you have anything to say? Hi, girls and guys. <laughs> Finley? Finley at the juice bar. Yeah. Cheers. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Didn't I used to say that? What's up you guys? Or maybe I've always said what's up. No, I definitely used to say, hey everyone, I'm the makeup by Danielle. If any of you guys are OGs, you would remember my days of the makeup by Danielle and then I was Danielle Marie and then finally I said Danielle Carolyn. It was a very long evolution over almost 10 years. Next week will be my 11 year YouTube anniversary. How crazy is that? Anyways, just got ginger shots and juices with my dad. That's just something my dad and I like to do or we'll go to Starbucks. I don't know, it's just like our thing. I don't know, does anyone else do that with their family? Like they have like that thing you do together. Um, and we brought Finley too, so that was fun. I'm headed to European Wax Center. Love that place. I get my eyebrows done. I've got Brazilians done there, all the things. Today, we're just gonna have a day. Um, I'm gonna see if they can do my eyebrows as well, but we are doing a full on wax down there. So that'll be fun. Cannot wait. <laughs> ah! I think I wanna just start only getting waxes, like kind of train my hair. Sounds really weird. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't love doing this, but they make it really easy and they're super friendly and they just make me feel better. So we're just gonna do it. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Woo, I have not done that in a minute. <laughs> that wasn't the most fun thing in the world, but I'm also a baby when it comes to stuff like that. I have a very um, low pain tolerance. The girl's probably like this bitch. Like, I was so, and I was like, okay, can you just tell me when to breathe? <laughs> She's like, sure, I'm like, sorry. And then I'd be like sitting there like, okay, you're gonna be so happy when you're bathing suit, you're gonna be so happy when you're bathing suit. <laughs> Please tell me other people do this. Like I'm like literally telling myself inspirational quotes as I'm in the wax room. Like that's who I am, that is me, this is real. Now we're off to CVS. I'm going to get birth control. What a little girl talk kind of day. We're gonna go get some birth control, my prescription. And also I need to buy more of those, um, I think the brand's called Tinkle, they're like, um, eyebrow and face razors and I just like do my peach fuzz. It's like at home dermaplaning if you will. Lunchy munchy. Ended up getting a little burrito bowl. Couldn't help myself. Alright you guys, I hear you. My Air Forces were so dirty. I even put them in the wash and they still were really dirty. So we got a new pair. These are the Air Force One Sages, I believe. I'll link them down below. They're just a little bit more platform. The last pair I have were a sh they're the shadows. Well, I'll show you guys just so you see the difference. I like them both. Um, 
the shadow. See, I guess it literally just has a shadow of the logo, but they're both platform. These almost look even more platform, so very excited about that, of the contrast. So, and I did get a different pair of white shoes because a lot of people were like, let's graduate from the Nike Air Forces. I do love these for day to day, but I just got another pair too because I literally wear white sneakers every day, so it's not like I'm wasting my money. And I think they're coming in the mail today as well, so I'll show you guys when they come. Finley is living his best life right now. Aren't you, Finn Bear? He's like, oh my gosh, stop it. Alrighty, you guys, it's meeting time. We're having our Gals on the Go merch design call with the designers and our graphic designer, Emma. She's amazing, is gonna be on the call too. So we already have ideas. We just need to make sure like with them that it's gonna work out. I have water and LaCroix, I couldn't decide. Um, so I'm gonna hop on, we're doing a little Google Meet. Finley's in the background. Because this would be like a summer time. I mean, it can go into fall, obviously. Something lighter. Something lighter. Yeah. People could throw over their bathing suit. Just finished the merch call. It was amazing. I'm so excited. This Gals in the Go merch is about to be like so sick. Finley's still in the back. He's just so cute. I'm also on the side, also working with Emma. She's esm.creative on Instagram. She's amazing. And she's also helped me in the past with like my YouTube channel banners and just other random things with my website. Um, and she just helped me create a new YouTube channel banner and an end screen. So at the end of my videos, it has like all my social media handles and stuff. Um, I'm obsessed. So I wanted to go with very fun, vibrant vibes. I'm, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've been really into emojis and colors and just like I have like a ton of stickers on my laptop. I love that look. It was like, why don't we make your banner kind of inspired by stickers on a computer or something like that? And I was like, yes, just things that represent me. So I'm gonna show you guys. This was my old banner and I love it, but I mean, it's just kind of an outdated photo at this point. And I'm just, I just didn't want to use photos this time because I feel like my hair changes all the time. So we're about to change it. Okay, I absolutely love it. Totally on brand. This is amazing. Just finished my second call and final call of the day and took Finley for a little walk. It was really nice, I didn't bring my vlog camera, sorry. I'm actually about to film a moving to NYC q and I'm gonna put on makeup and stuff. I just asked on my Instagram, if you guys don't follow me, this is your sign to follow me. Um, and that'll be good so I can edit it while I'm in Illinois and get it uploaded on Sunday, because I come back on Saturday night, so. As for updates on packing, I am also gonna bring one of my Outdoor Voices exercise dresses. It's in the wash right now. I forgot to show you guys I was gonna do that. I also realized I need sleeping attire, so I'm gonna bring this pajama set from Revolve. It's Lovers and Friends, I love it. It's just a short sleeve one, so it's really nice because we usually spend just the morning in the living room drinking tea and coffee. I absolutely love that time of day. And then I'm also gonna bring just this t-shirt because I feel like I need a t-shirt. And maybe I should bring some Nike or Lululemon shorts as well. Pro tip, if you ever get dust bags or just, you know, things like if, shoe, if you get shoes and they come in a little dust bag, save them. They're great for putting like your lingerie, lingerie, your underwear in them. Um, I always use this and usually I'll bring a second one too, which I'll grab right now. And I use that as like my little hamper bag too. <laughs> so now I'm putting together my carry-on bag, which is like my favorite part. Pretty simple. I'll put my computer and computer charger in here, um, you know, like in the morning or tonight after I'm done using it. Um, in here right now, I just have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I love this thing. It was one of the best purchases. I just have ran I have hand sanitizer in there, some pens, you know, and like I said, I'll put my computer in here, my Kindle. I love this thing. I'm reading Malibu Rising right now. Two pairs of sunglasses, my blue light glasses, and my AirPods, and then obviously my purse. I'll probably pack my. Pr I mean. Sometimes I'll put my crossbody in here, but this one's kind of, I don't know. I'll probably put this in my um, luggage, but I'll just take out my wallet and stuff. I guess I could do this now, actually, considering I won't be, I won't be needing my car keys. I'll need to grab a couple masks. Got all kinds of things charging here right now. I'm charging my Kindle and I'm charging my Bluetooth speaker because I can't remember if my grandmom and granddad have like a portable speaker. Um... They honestly probably do, but I just thought I'd bring one just in case because nothing's worse than no music. Not actually, there's way worse things, but you guys know what I mean. Drinking a noon hydration, setting up my camera to film a Q and A. Just did a little makeup because why not? Um, I added my 1998 necklace. I really like this little stack I have going on. Adina's Jewels, a local jeweler, the M Jewelers. So that's kind of the lineup. I'm into it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna answer some questions about my being in New York City. As you guys are watching this, this video will go up on Sunday. So this video is going up Wednesday. 
and then that'll be the next video that you guys can expect on my channel. Woo! Just finished filming, it went well. I'm excited for you guys to watch that. My second pair of white shoes just came in the mail. I went with these All Saints sneakers. I will link them down below. They've still got some platform, not as much as the Air Force as you guys saw. They're super simple. And I like how they have like a nice narrowed toe. It'll be nice when I wear like dresses and skirts people get on me about wearing Air Forces with some of that stuff, which I will still do and I still like. But this is a little bit of a simpler, cuter option. It came with a stain right there. Revolve has a great return policy. It's just now I have to deal with this. I still have the box and I still have the return label that they sent me, but this is just, I tried to wipe it off and it would not come off. Um, so unfortunately, I really hope they still have more. I'm gonna have to exchange it and get a different pair because I mean it literally came stained so not sure why that happened But yeah, so they're going back to revolve, but hopefully a new pair will come back nice and clean and white All right guys, so we packed the suitcase We packed the carry-on. I have to edit this vlog so it goes up tomorrow Because um, I want a video to go up while I'm traveling. I'm just gonna add my toiletries my hair products all that fun stuff So yeah, this was a pack with me prep with me work with me all the things with me. Um, I'm in a shower and actually wash my hair now. So obviously I'm not vlogging, but I will be posting lots of Instagram stories. Maybe I'll do a little TikTok vlog or something. I don't really know. So follow me on all those things, Danielle Carolyn. And I will see you guys next Sunday for my next vlog. Links down below to things I talked about. Yeah, love you guys. Bye.